So the first quarter of 2019 is almost done. But what is on the horizon for the rest of the year in marketing and in your high ticket business to business sales? My name is Tyler Kemp and today I'm going to go into the nine marketing and sales predictions for the rest of 2019. Right, guys the first marketing and sales prediction is that the cost of attention is going to continue to skyrocket there are a few reasons that this is the case the first is that the cost of advertising is increasing it's becoming harder and harder to advertise and make your ROI now I'm not saying that you can't generate leads I'm not saying you can't generate sales through advertising but the cost is going up and it's a lot harder to accomplish things that were very easy a couple years ago. The second reason that the cost of attention is skyrocketing is because people's attention spans are just getting smaller. They are requiring small bite-sized chunks and unless your content is extremely relevant, people just will not pay attention. They will not take the time to consume your content. The third component here is that your competition is getting better at what they're doing. They're getting better at marketing, better at sales, they are investing in digital and all of these things that are working today. And if you're not on that bandwagon, or even if you are, it's gonna be really hard to get people's attention because there's a lot of noise. And you need to find marketing and sales tactics that can slice through the noise and clear a path for yourself so that you are really building a relationship with your leads and building trust over the long term. So for this first prediction of what's on the horizon, be aware that it's going to cost more money to get people's attention. It's going to be harder. There's going to be more competition and you need to lock down the right tactics today so that you can future proof your tomorrow. Prediction number two. Now this one is a little bit controversial, but I'm going to say it anyways. I believe that the economy is going to crash. Now it may not crash this year. It may not crash next year, but these things are cyclical. It happens. We have great economies, we have down economies. There are so many reasons why you should be concerned about the economy in 2019. So no one can time the market, but there is good reason to believe that there will be a recession in the next one to two years. So what does this mean for you if you are a high ticket B2B salesperson? The first is that, well, competition disappears in a downturn. It is a season where people will win and they will lose hard. If you look at the trends of previous recessions in 2008, for example, you'll see that a lot of businesses go out of business. A lot of competition flees the market. And it's a season where the one, the performers, the top 1% continue to perform and dominate the market. And those who are on the bottom of the totem pole can't afford to continue. And what most people do in that situation is they stop investing in their marketing. They stop investing in their business and they try to cut every possible expense. So they become invisible and they lose. And that is exactly what you must not do when and if this does happen. The second important thing to note is that marketing will become even more important to you and your business in a downturn. I mentioned that if you become invisible, you're going to lose. That means you have to align yourself with the right kind of business practices and have a marketing budget and have some investment into your business so that you can actually stay relevant and stay top of mind with your clients. Keep generating leads, build into your business, uh, have predictable lead generation and don't just cut the things that are actually feeding and fueling your fire in your business, right? You must continue to invest. And the third component is that you need to focus on building a brand and building influence in your market right now. You can't just say, oh my gosh, now there's a downturn. I need to build an audience. By that time, it's going to be too late. You're not going to have enough revenue or enough attention to uh, stay in the game. So you need to be able to invest your money now that you have. Take a portion of that, build an audience, invest in content creation, invest in retargeting, invest in building predictability into your business so that when it comes, when a crash happens, you can stand on a foundation of 
lead generation, etc. The fourth thing you can do in a recession to really make sure that you are okay and that you stay in the game is to ensure that what you're selling is a true painkiller. Someone really does in need. You want to offer so much transformation in someone's life and business that they can't help but buy from you when they hear about your offer. So that at that point, the challenge only becomes how are you going to get their attention? How are you going to get in front of them, your message in front of them? How are you going to build trust with them so that they actually buy from you? But when they buy, your service is so amazing, such a uh, crucial part of their life that they can't help but refer you to uh, their network. Prediction number three, the Facebook platform will become less and less effective. Now you might be saying, oh my gosh, Tyler, how could you say that? Facebook is killing it. We're crushing on Facebook ads. Hey, take it from someone who's been there, done that. I know Facebook ads backwards and forwards and I love them and I use them, but attention is becoming more expensive on that particular platform. People are transitioning to more fun platforms. If I were you, that you're investing in an omni-channel approach, or at least getting into more platforms than just Facebook, because if you haven't felt it, the waters are changing, things are shifting, people are moving away from Facebook, it's had a great run, and I'm not saying it's gonna go away, I think it's going to continue to grow. Now this might be a hard thing to hear, but the amount of people that are putting on ad blockers to their phone, that are deleting the Facebook app from their phone that are actually just leaving the platform in general are a lot. There is a lot of people that are leaving it and also the cost of attention is getting more and more as we talked about in prediction number one. So if you are someone who just is relying on the simple things, sending a cold ad to an audience that's completely cold and you wanna get people into your webinar or, or onto a sales call, good luck. It's gonna be extremely challenging. You can't just do what you've always done on Facebook and win and that's gonna mean that a lot of people are going to move away from the platform for good reason and you want to make sure that if you're staying on Facebook you're doing it right or consider investing in a new platform all right guys we are into prediction number four and that is that Instagram YouTube and LinkedIn are going to become huge if you haven't noticed the shift away from Facebook and into these other platforms, take another look. Instagram, of course, is so much fun. All of the influencers are going there. People are becoming Insta famous. And if you're sitting on the sidelines and you're not investing in that platform now, you're gonna miss out. It's what Facebook was five years ago, right? That's what people are saying and I've confirmed that this is true. And that's why we've actually begun investing there as well. Now, the other little secret nugget here is LinkedIn. I'm not sure if you are someone who thinks that LinkedIn is a great platform. I believe that Instagram and LinkedIn are going to explode in 2019, going into 2020, and it's already begun. In fact, the shift is incredible. It is insane the amount of leads we've been able to generate, the amount of inbound conversations we've been able to generate, and we haven't even spent a dime of advertising. If you'd like to learn more about how we achieve massive results on LinkedIn and how we've generated anywhere from 100 to 400 new leads on LinkedIn every month for our customers without in even a dollar in ad spend without a, a complicated marketing funnel go ahead and type LinkedIn in the comments and I'll send you a resource that will outline our exact steps that we've been taking to achieve these crazy results prediction number five the customer journey is going to be increasingly important simply put if your customer journey before someone buys from you isn't planned out if you're not taking the right psychological triggers and you don't have things like nurturing sequences and retargeting and these other elements or even automatic prospecting things that are going and running on autopilot speaking the right message at the right time at the right frequency before the customer actually purchases your sales production is going to suffer you might presently be relying on referrals to grow your business but if you are make sure that you are building a referral engine something that is churning out referrals not just relying on chance without that predictability you might have some difficulty so make sure that you are investing time in a strategy and implementing the right tactics before and after the sale so that you know exactly what that customer journey is going to be and you are building a real business. Okay, prediction number six is that lifetime value is the only thing marketers are going to care about in 2019. Over the last few years, marketing has transitioned away from basic sales practices of building these no like trust relationships and instead it's become all about these 
vanity metrics. What's your cost per click? What's your cost per lead? What's your return on investment spend? And all of that is important. You must know these numbers. However, if you're not investing in the long term, if you're not playing the long game and you don't care and can see your lifetime value of a customer and all you want is a short, quick win, good luck. Good luck with advertising, good luck with ad spend, because it is not going to continue to work. If you don't play the long-term game, you're going to be eaten alive. That means that you need to worry less about the cost per click and cost of a phone call, and worry more about the cost of acquiring a customer, what their long-term value is going to be to your business, and what it's going to cost you to provide value to them over the long-term. Prediction number seven. Typical guru tactics are going to stop working. Now, I love a good business and marketing guru as much as the next guy. However, things are changing, and if you are relying on outdated tactics, it's just not gonna work. That means that any of these BS tactics like bots, gimmicks, even automation that doesn't really resonate with someone and doesn't create intimacy isn't going to create the kind of connection that you really need with your leads. Authenticity will outperform gimmicky marketing tactics every time. If you want to achieve big wins in your business, you need to transition your marketing and your sales approach away from manipulation and towards transformation. You can't rely on your ability to manipulate someone into action because as people become wiser to the internet and internet tactics and even sales tactics, they're gonna be turned off by your lack of care and your lack of uh, character and authenticity. And if people think that they're going to be sold instead of helped, your production will suffer. Prediction number eight, the typical marketing funnel is going to die. Now, the last few years, marketing funnels were all the rage. I literally have a sticker on the back of my computer that says, I build funnels. And yet, at the same time, we've seen a trend away from the typical funnel. So what does a typical funnel look like? It's where you're sending cold ad traffic to your webinar or cold tra ad traffic to your opt-in page without building any trust, without kind of establishing that relationship first. What is working instead is investing time and investing an ad budget in awareness, in reach, in to actually getting your message out there first, showing them value, distributing this value over and over and over again, and then leading them into your offer. And in fact, we've seen that it's so much more expensive to try and get traffic to your opt-in and capture an email than it is to send people to a page without that opt-in, but actually just retarget them on the back end. So at the end of the day, you don't actually get the lead in your inbox or the lead in a spreadsheet of some kind, but you are actually able to build a relationship over the long term with that customer without even needing to collect an email, which is pretty incredible. Now, having said that, some of the things that work the best in my business are in fact very much focused on lead generating, very much focused on uh, actually gathering these leads and nurturing them over the long term. And we do collect emails, we do collect contact information. However, that's not always necessary. All you really need to do is get them into your audience and get them consuming. And that kind of funnel is going to work a lot better than trying to get people into these higher commitment offers too soon. If I were to give you one piece of advice in a marketing funnel, I would suggest suggest that you tailor your funnel to the amount of trust you've built with them. If you haven't built a whole lot of trust, then don't ask for a whole lot. Don't ask for that email if you haven't built any trust. Don't ask for that call. Don't ask for that hour commitment to your webinar unless you first can demonstrate value. Do that and you will win. And finally, prediction number nine, those who focus on lower volume, higher quality leads are going to win. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, did you just say I need less leads? Yes. You don't need a million leads. You don't need to spend money to target all of your entire state. All you need to do is get the right people into your funnel and build trust with them. If you are a high ticket business to business professional, then really you only need a couple of qualified leads that are ready to buy from you in order to hit your goals. So can you actually generate a lot of leads? Yes, absolutely. In fact, part of my business is generating tons of leads for the salespeople that we work with. However, what matters more than that is your targeting. Are these the right 
people. Now, how do you make sure that these are the right people? Well, one way is to invest in LinkedIn Sales Navigator. You pay them and you can build an audience that is crafted in such a way that you have exactly the right people in your market. You can drill down by title, by geography, by how long they've been in business, uh, by how successful they are practically, by what level of seniority they have, all kinds of amazing things. If you are doing that, you now have your prospect list and that could turn not a list of a uh, thousand to a hundred thousand people. So is it a volume game? No. You need to build real life, no like trust relationships with a few of them and find the sales qualified leads and invest your time and your marketing efforts on providing as much value as you possibly can over and over and over. Building frequency, intimacy, relevancy, and efficiency into your business. So that's it guys. That has been our nine marketing and sales predictions for 2019. If you'd like to see more videos from us, go ahead and click that little bell icon to get notified every time we produce a new video. And I would like to hear from you. What do you want us to create? What do you want us to make a video on and share based on our insights from working with multi-million dollar businesses, from helping entrepreneurs get from six figures to seven figures in their business? Um, we've got some great things coming. Go ahead and comment uh, below with any recommendations or suggestions or uh, questions that you might have. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you haven't gotten a chance to check it out, please visit thefireformula.com where we will go into exactly how you as a B2B sales professional can win in your market and master frequency, intimacy, relevancy, and efficiency in your business to own the attention of your market and ignite your sales production. See you in the next video.